Hello guys, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Virtual Tech Chat. I'm Pawan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the process of installing Windows subsystem for Android application on Windows 10 PC. Here you can see I have already installed this Windows subsystem for Android application on my PC. Now I'm going to show you the system specifications of my PC. When it comes to here, you can see it's a Windows 10 Pro version and it has 22 A2 update and is the latest update of Windows 10. So however, I have installed this one on inside of my Windows 10 PC when it has the latest requirements as the Windows 11. So uh, how you can install this one on your PC without having and facing any of problems. So in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you the process of installing this Windows subsystem Android application on inside of Windows 10. So let's get start our video and see how we can do this. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification net and join with me. Before continuing to the installation process of this Windows subsystem for Android application on inside of your Windows 10 PC, you need to update your PC to the latest version. You need to open your search bar and uh, type this. Then you need to run this one and you will be able to identify the latest version of Windows 10. Here you can see my version is 19.0.45.0. 2546 so this is the latest version of windows 10 you need to update your pc to the this version to install this application on inside of windows 10 okay friends now you need to go to your search bar and search for windows features like this now you will be able to find this turn windows features on no option then you need to open it and then you will be able to see some options here now you need to disable this hyper v function and you need to scroll down and you need to disable this hypervisor platform also from here and then you need to enable this virtualization platform like this that called uh, virtual machine platform option uh, then press ok and just wait until completing of this activation process of this windows feature Now when it comes to here you need to click on this restart now option to activate this windows feature. Also in this restarting process you need to go to your boot menu and uh, activate some settings called virtualization from your boot options. Let's see how we can do that. In the restarting process of your PC you need to continuously press F2 key on your keyboard to read this window. When it comes to here you need to find this advanced option from using your arrow keys of the keyboard. Then you need to find this visualization option, click enter and scroll down to select uh, VTX only option or turn it on. Now you need to press F10 key on your keyboard to save these settings and restart your PC. Now you need to press Y key on your keyboard. Ok guys, after completing of the restarting process of your PC, you need to download the file that I added to the description of this video and then you need to extract that file like this. But in the extracting process of this file, it will ask your password. You need to enter this one as your password of the file. And then you will be able to extract this file. Then you need to open this folder like this. Now click on here. Now right click on here and you need to copy this path into your clipboard like this. Then you need to click on search bar of your PC and you need to find your CMD window now right click on your CMD window and run it as administrator
now click on yes to the message that appears on the screen then press enter cd space now you need to paste that uh, copied folder path here from right clicking on this command on window then you can paste that command then press enter on your keyboard now you need to enter this command run dot bat now again press enter on your keyboard now you need to wait until completing of installation process of this windows subsystem for android application on inside of your pc now you can see we don't have to paste any of errors on here your windows subsystem for android application will be normally installed on your windows 10 pc again if i show it to you the system specifications of my pc you can see is windows 10 and I have installed Windows Subsystem for Android. Now click on continue to open your Windows Subsystem for Android application. And you can see your Windows Subsystem for Android application is opening. But my PC doesn't support to uh, open this application because my CPU doesn't meet the minimum requirements of this application that's why it's getting closed but if you have a gen, uh, cpu installed on your pc definitely it will work on your pc i think if you have at least i5 pc with second gen you will be able to run this one on your pc now you can see we have installed windows subsystem for android application And it's working fine without having and facing any of errors if you have the minimum requirements to run this application without moving to windows 11 so i think you all will love this video this is a very advanced method but i have shorted this video to make it very easy to install any pc so uh, guys this is the end of our video thank you again for watching this tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification and then join with me